They had children, six and four. It was time to go pick up the six-year-old, and I was visiting with the mom and the four-year-old. It was a warm spring, late spring day. He, the little boy was barefooted, and mom kept looking at her watch, and she finally said, put your shoes on. We've got to go pick up your brother. And he said, I can't. And she said, why not? And he said, because there's angels standing on him. And I, we were, he could see the angels, and how to, wonderful to have a heart so pure that he could see the <laughs> angels. And there with us tonight, maybe some of you can see them. I can't see them with my eyes, but they'll be with you. The angels are there. And I was in a room where a child saw the angels standing on his shoes. And finally his mom said, well, we really have to go. <laughs> so he went over to his shoes and picked them up and did like this. And he said, okay, now I can put them on. <laughs> so watch for miracles. Be grateful. Be grateful. There was a study done at UCLA, and it showed that people who practiced gratitude had stronger human hearts and better blood pressure. So have a little exercise. Every night when you go home or every morning when we wake up, whichever works for you, write down five things you're grateful for. Keep that heart and blood pressure going. <laughs> Do not long for the absence of problems. No. Scripture tells us you will have trouble in this world. And I've been down the road and I've had a lot of joy and a lot of sorrow, but you all are a great part of my sor joy now. <laughs> and I appreciate it so much. <laughs> the fun that you give me and the way that I get to see you and work with you and to see the seniors come back and to see the maturity in you and the change and the excitement in, in your faces and in my heart I think but they're just beginning they're babies and they're just starting mm. but it's so exciting the things that you'll experience begin each day asking God and the Holy Spirit to come alongside of you Philippians 4.13 says, I can do anything in the power of Christ who strengthens me. Find some little passages like that that stay with you and that when you're really low, you can grab a hold of and get out the door. We here care about you. We'll be praying for you. We are for you. We are proud of you. Never forget that God is on your side. He has overcome the world. And remember that your name is written in the palm of his hand. We read that in Isaiah. So seniors, don't settle. Amen. Amen.